Okay, I'm gonna start over because my screen was like this big. Okay, so I have this. I sell stuff on eBay for profit and I bought a bunch of stuff and I didn't take it with me because I don't really know if I'm allowed to in my thrift stores. So anyways, I got some stuff and I was going to show you what I got. So first off, I got this. I've got a pair of these and they're from 1977. Noble Romans mug. It used to be a restaurant out here in Indianapolis and I got two of these and the last ones that sold were um sorry about that um sold for $12.99 for a set of two but the set that I saw was all like faded and gross oh my gosh I was just gonna try to sit on the floor completely there we go okay so I think those will do really well I might be able to get more than $12.99, but I, I'm, I'm shooting for $12.99. Um, next, I got this little guy. I think it's a dog bowl. My husband thinks it's a dog bowl as well. But it's from Roseville, Ohio, USA. And I was watching the Crazy Lamp Lady or Nesting Haven, and they bought a dog bowl like this, and they said it was worth like $20, but theirs was really big. This one's really small. It's like the size of my fist. I thought it was for candy, but probably not. So I would expect like 10 to 15 for that, maybe more. I got this little Pooh Bear thing. I don't think I'm gonna sell this. I don't think it's worth anything, but I really like Pooh Bear. So I, like it. Um, I got this Maxwell House glass container it's hard to keep an eye on it it's just a scene like a kitchen counter it has a top I just washed it um I actually don't know if I'm gonna sell that either but I would probably expect like 10 bucks for that so not much but and then I got this piece it's like a little candy dish or throw your stuffing dish from California Pottery. It's in really good condition. It's got crazing. Um, and I have to get this off, which I hope doesn't become a problem. But if you look really close, like right here, it's got crazing right there. But I think it's still really good. I really like it. I was hoping to get 15 to 20 for this, but I'm not really sure what California pottery goes for. Next, I got these little dishes. I'll just hold one up because they're exactly the same. Um, sorry, I'm moving so much. I have a new phone. Anyways, um, that's what the back looks like. I have no idea what these are, so, um, if y'all do, let me know, but I don't. I know, like, I'm pretty sure they're, like, called bone plates or something, because I've seen Crazy Lamp Lady recently haul something like this, but these ones are really small. They're, like, as big as my hand. So I'm not sure what I would get for that. And then I got this. I thought this was super cute. Uh, obviously, I'm going to hold it back till Christmas because I think I could get a, probably like 20 bucks for that little dish maybe not maybe like 15 but we'll see sorry I'm going so fast I have to put my son to bed soon I don't know if I said that next I got I got this little guy because it was cute um but he's just they're just running horses and I'm like 90% sure they're a Nesco, but they don't have any, any sort of marking. Um, so if it is a Nesco, I'm thinking 10. I paid 60 cents for this though, so 10 would be fine with me. Next I found this thing and I thought it was super cute. I'm going to take the lid off 
you can read it. It's oh oh Opry land, Opry land, probably. It's just a little like trinket ish, but it's from 1968, I believe. And they go for about 15 bucks. Again, I paid like 60 cents for it, so. Okay, so these mugs I bought, they're not vintage. Uh, they're just purple sparkly mugs, but I bought a four pack of them because they were like $2. And I also got silver gold color. It's It looks more silver in this light. Of course, I picked up the one that has a huge crack in it that I have to get rid of, but um, yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be selling those as like that. I think I'm going to be putting decals on those and selling them more like on the Etsy side of things. So, yes. And I got this little girl. She was cute. She was sitting with the horse and I just thought they went together. So I got both. But now I don't think so because she says Japan. I don't know, maybe they do focus on the little girl. She's cute. She looks cross-eyed, but she's cute. Um, I got this little penguin duck thing. I think it's a penguin. He's wood, carved wood. Um, he's got little buttons for eyes. He's cute. I really liked him. I think I could get like 10 bucks out of him. Oh, and I think I can get like 10, maybe 10 out of her, 8 to 10, we'll see. Um, and then I got this Cub Scouts mug. Um, I looked up, so a long time ago, I passed up a milk glass Cub Scouts mug because it was kind of a local Cub Scouts group. So I, did, I was iffy about it, so I passed it up, and I was looking it up, and in my research, I found out that, like, the Cub Scout stuff does pretty good. So I could get maybe 10 bucks out of this, this mug. 10, 15? So I thought that was pretty cool. This was my oopsie for the day. I got this, because I saw this, and I saw the milk glass, and I was like, I've never seen that before. It's really pretty. Turns out it's Avon. So I'm going to say maybe 10 bucks for that. It's not going to be a loss for me because I think I paid 69 cents for it. So, but still, I was a little like, mm, bummed. Then I found these salt and pepper shakers. Salt and pepper shakers. Um, there's, I thought there was a chip, but it's not. So there's no chips or cracks on them. I don't even think they've ever been used. The stoppers are, um, I think original. Um, I have no idea when these were made or how much I could get for them. So, literally no idea. When I bought these candlesticks, they're not, they're from Kohl's, but I really liked these. I paid, I think a dollar a piece for them. Pretty sure they're just, yeah, Kohl's.com. But I really liked them. They're like made of metal. But I thought they were really cute. And I found this creamer and sugar set. They were together like this. I think I paid a dollar for these. Um, I don't know anything about them, but I'm keeping them for myself. I was looking up some comps and I found a pink one that sold for like 15. It's not too bad when I paid a dollar for it, so, you know. And then I got this thing. It's also, oh, it's Flower Craft by Upco. I didn't even read the bottom. I thought it said California. Like, I was too, I paid like 69 cents for this, or a dollar, I think. But it doesn't seem to have ever been used as a planter or whoever did use it washed it before they dropped it off at the thrift store so yeah I'll have to look that up I thought it was California pottery it is not so 
Okay, and then I got these guys. Okay, I'm only gonna show one because they're super heavy. So I got these for myself when I first got them. I was like, oh, that would be so pretty in my window, like catching the sun. Okay, turns out they're <laughs> Blanco glass bookends. I have both of them. And the only cons I can find, there was one that sold for $40. So I'm hoping I can get $80 out of both at least. Now on Etsy, there's a bunch of people selling them for like 180, 190, 130. I'm not really sure what they're worth. I want to get 180 out of them because I have both of them. I paid 75 cents a piece for those. I would love to get $180 out of that. I would love to get $80 out of that. Okay, next I have this guy. He's opalescent. I don't know if I can show that. My lighting is not great in this room, but he's, um, again, I think he's a Nesco with the, the way their eyes are drawn on. That's what kind of makes me think that it's a Nesco brand. Um, I have him listed on eBay starting bid $10, I think, or seven. And I have him listed on Etsy and Mercari for 20, I think, cause he's, he's a decent size and his trunk is up. He's got no chips or cracks or like even like wear spots on the opal stuff. So I think that he is worth $20. And then I found this thing for my, my husband's dad. He's turning 50. It's just a rock. It says 50 is an old fir tree. And I do believe that's it. I think I have one more thing. Hold on. Okay. I actually had two more things. Okay, so I got a stack of these plates. Um, they are this brand. They've never been used. There's literally no scratching on them. And all but I think one of them has this Indonesia sticker still on them. So I know that they haven't washed them. Like, not the back at least, but there's no scratching on them, like, like as if there were forks or anything on them. So I bought a stack of eight. They were 70 cents a piece. I paid like $4 for them. And I think one goes for $12.99. The stack for some reason only goes for 47. So I'm selling them individually on eBay at $10 and Mercari, there's the set is there for 47, $48. So we'll see which one goes. Okay, and then I have this. I've had this for a while and I keep trying to hang it up in my son's bathroom, but it just really doesn't want to stay on the wall and it doesn't really fit with my decor. So I'm not like super upset that I have to like get rid of it or anything so but um sorry I'm just gonna rearrange this back um but I have this listed I think for starting bid seven bucks I paid four dollars for this this is one of the more most expensive things I think I got but I got it for myself a while ago and I just decided to list it so I thought I'd let everybody know that it's up there it's listed and I think that is it. I think that's everything I got. But I hope to make my money back because I think I have like $30 in this box. This was two trips, two different stores, I guess. But um, I don't film in them because I don't know if they really want me to. I was going to try to sneak my phone in and be all sneaky, but I'm 28 years old and I don't really feel like sneaking. And like getting in trouble at this age, I guess. Like, like as I take my son with me and stuff, I don't know. I just don't want to get like in a hissy and get like kicked out of the store. So it doesn't say you can't film. So I might try, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, 
if you want to see any of this stuff, it will be listed up on eBay probably first. Some of it, most of it is listed on Etsy, which I will leave links below. Um, like and subscribe. I am going to start making better videos. I'm trying to figure out where I want to do the videos so that I can get everything figured out. But this is my first one. So, one of my first ones. I tried one on a table like a few months back and my kitchen lighting isn't very good. This lighting is better for the actual items, like holding it up and showing you. So, I might just continue doing it in here. Anyways, I know you don't care. So, I'm gonna go and I will see you in the next one. Bye.